3rd District, we did have a very close election, but we also had 50,000 Republicans not to show up to vote. So just to be clear, uh, Ms. Bovert, you blame Republican voters for the fact that you nearly lost a safe <laughs> seat and not your own conduct. Ms. Bobert, you're running an ad right now that says deport them all. Describe in detail, in detail. how you see mass deportation playing out in the cities and towns mm -hmm. of the 4th Congressional District. Yep. First of all, uh, having over 10 million illegal aliens mm -hmm. coming into our country in under four years, <laughs> this is unprecedented. Uh, I'll note that you didn't make any attempt to answer the actual question, which is who should be doing this? You introduced uh, articles of impeachment yeah. against the president for his handling of the border. That move was blocked by Republican House leadership. Curry Pardon me, was please. Sent to committee. It Pardon was not me, blocked. Please. It was blocked by sending it to committee, so you didn't get the full uh, House vote that you wanted. <laughs> no, I so did a question get a full for, House vote, and it was I apologize. Sent to this committee. is going to be a long evening if okay, you speak well, over the facts. Okay. Say it right. So, a question for everybody up here. A question on this for Mr. Sonnenberg. You have also called for mass deportations, and let's talk about that economic impact. Absolutely. I would use the police. I would use the National Guard. Those people aren't the ones working. Those people are the ones causing the, yes. the uh, uh, crime to go up in, uh, uh, in Denver and the area around. Uh, imagine, Receipts. if you will. Do you have any evidence there? to support that? Evidence. Because Our law enforcement has, has not put that forward. I'm just curious where you're getting mm. that, that causation. Mm. How would that work if the National Guard or the military were to come into Douglas County where...